When setting up your NVR to send email notifications, it's best to begin while logged into Internet Explorer and then clicking on the Network tab off to the left. From the Network tab, click on the Email tab at the top of the page. The Email list box is where we tell the NVR where to send the email notifications. We select the top entry and then we edit it here in the Edit Contact box. Once that's entered, we click the Modify button to change it up in the email contact list. Next, we want to make sure that the authentication checkbox is ticked and that SSL TLS is enabled. Next, we will provide an email account that the NVR will use to send the email notification. Most times, it's okay to have the same email address be the recipient and the sender. We also include the email account password so that the NVR can log in and make use of the account. If using Gmail, it's important to note that they require you to explicitly allow access to the email account from a third-party application. In the sender box, go ahead and enter your email address one more time. Under the email host field, enter the SMTP address for the server that you'll be using. When finished, change the port number as well, as is appropriate for your SMTP server. Tick the JPEG file checkbox in order to include a snapshot with the email notifications, and then click on Channel Events. This is where we will configure the NVR to notify us when different events take place. For Channel 1, we'll go ahead and check Motion, so we'll be notified when motion occurs on Channel 1. We'll check Alarm, so that we're notified when alarms take place. And we'll check Video Loss, so that we'll receive an email notification if the camera loses signal. We continue this process by checking motion, alarm, and video loss on channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4 as well, so all of our cameras will notify us if any of these events take place. We then click the Apply button at the bottom of the window to save all changes. We can also click the System Events button so that we can be notified if there's any abnormal behavior with our hard drives. We tick these two checkboxes in order to enable that, and then of course click Apply at the bottom when finished. Finally, we'll click the Apply button at the bottom of the email page. To test our email server settings, we click the Send button. When the test is finished, we should receive a confirmation in this window here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure your Leland NVR to send email notifications. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Leland Technical Support.